All right, so in this activity, what you're going to be doing is matching positive pieces up with negative pieces until they can no longer fit any more pieces. Now, there are some specific rules here, and one of them is, is you can only use two types of elements. So let's say, for example, I choose magnesium as my positive piece. That's great. If I need any more positive piece magnesiums, then I have to only continue to use magnesium as my positive piece. For my negative piece, let's say I choose chlorine. Same concept. If I've chosen chlorine, my rule is I can only use two types of elements. So magnesium is my positive piece, then I should only be using chlorine as my negative piece. So here you can see I have completed my matches. I can no longer fit anymore. So this magnesium, this extra magnesium is not needed in this puzzle set. I'll add this information to my data table now where I have one positively two charged magnesiums and I have two negatively one charged chlorine pieces. So this is now done. Now I'm done with this piece, this puzzle set right now. I'm going to go ahead and reuse these pieces. So I'm going to break this puzzle piece apart and put the pieces back so I can continue to use these pieces. So remember, only two types of elements should be used. What you cannot do and should not do, for example, let me bring back this magnesium. I should not take magnesium and match it with chlorine and then try to use a third type of element to match up the puzzle pieces. So even though this looks like it should work, this is an illegal move. You should not be mixing three types of elements. I should only be using two types of elements. One type is a positive piece and the other type is a negative piece. All right, good luck.